What's up, pranksters? Yeah, I know, right? I look pretty funny, pretty goofy in this attire. Well, I'm only wearing this because I'm getting ready for the new year. That's right, guys. 2017 is right around the corner, so I'm getting ready for that. I'm very excited for the new year, and this video, guys, will be my last video of 2016. So quite appropriately, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up five pranks to ring in the new year. So if you're looking forward to that, give this video a thumbs up and check it out. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this. This is a party popper. Usually it has a string on the one end. You pull it and it makes a really loud sound. A lot of people ring in the new year with these. When the clock strikes midnight, all they do is pull on it and <laughs> happy new year, right? Well, some people can't afford these. And actually guys, if you wanna make a really loud popping sound, this is not the way to go. This, this is for little kids. If you wanna make a really loud sound to ring in the new year, you're gonna use a balloon, right? And no guys, this is not a hack video. I'm gonna show you how to set up a prank using a balloon like this. So basically, you gotta get your victim on the same page as you. You tell them, hey, if you wanna make a really large sound, try using a balloon. But if you use a push pin, and once the clock strikes 12, you pop it, it makes a really loud sound that is gonna catch everybody's attention, right? You gotta start off the year with a bang, right? Literally. So this is what happens when you pop a balloon. And I don't know, maybe the camera's mic might not capture the sound, but it is pretty loud guys so this is what's gonna happen <laughs> wow just like that and it's it's pretty loud right I mean I'm pretty close to it so I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a prank for that victim so first you're gonna get yourself a balloon I'm gonna stick with the same color which was the baby blue one and guess what guys before we fill it up with air we're gonna put something nasty inside and yes I finally got a hold of a bottle of liquid ass <laughs> a lot of you have been requesting that I do pranks with liquid ass well here's one of them guys this stuff really really reeks I'm kind of scared to open it because I already did earlier and it was horrible but right now I'm gonna be more exposed to it as I make this video so this is liquid ass guys I uh, hopefully you're aware of what this does if you don't know what this is look it up or just wait till somebody gets done using the restroom and it'll be something similar to the smell of this like I said it's very horrible so first thing you're gonna do guys is open it up you're gonna stick the nozzle inside the balloon make sure not to spray yourself because this stuff penetrates your clothes like nothing else and it's, it's just bad so guys once you get the nozzle in there you're gonna spray some of this liquid inside <laughs> oh, mouth's already coming out. So you're gonna squeeze it a couple of times. You can add as much as you want. Make sure that it doesn't touch the tip because you're gonna have to blow it up and put your lips on it. So make sure all that liquid goes down and you won't get this on the tip of your lips. Oh, this stuff's nasty as hell. All right, so I'm gonna put this back, guys. As you can see, I'm holding onto this tip so that the air doesn't release until I blow up this balloon. So now I'm gonna blow it up to capacity. All right, pranksters, well, the balloon is ready. It's got that liquid ass inside, and it's ready to be popped on New Year's Eve, or New Year's Day, actually. So you give this to your victim, tell him, hey, when it's New Year's, you're gonna celebrate by popping this balloon. And like I said, it's gonna make a loud sound. It's gonna get everybody's attention. It's just gonna get everybody excited about the New Year. So let's say it's five, four, three, two. And remember, you're at a party or you're at a family gathering, so everybody's around. So when one and then Happy New Year hits, this is what's gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys you guys can't smell it but I can and it's horrible you guys have no idea how bad liquid ass smells like it's just as disgusting as it sounds no wonder it's called liquid ass the air that is inside is gonna go all over the house and everybody at the party is gonna smell this it is just an awesome prank you guys can pull off on New Year's Eve actually it's New Year's Day okay well here are my 2017 New Year's glasses as you can see, they have the numbers on there. A lot of people wear these on New Year's Eve when they're ringing in the new year. So for example, these are black on the back all around. I mean, of course, it's got this uh, glittery uh, numbers, but on the back, it is black all around the frames. And that is awesome because we're gonna rub some chocolate fudge all around these glasses. And chocolate fudge 
is of a dark color so i'm gonna pop it open guys i'm gonna i guess i'm gonna use my finger for this and i'm just gonna grab a little bit of that fudge and i'm gonna spread it on the glasses just barely you don't have to cover the whole glasses all around just a little they will not notice until they put them on or or actually it's better when they notice after they take them off that is funnier so just like that guys if you can find a darker fudge even better i was thinking about shoe polish but you don't want to get shoe polish on your victim you don't want it getting in their eye but this is harmless this is just chocolate fudge and that's it guys just put them back and make sure to fold them so that it covers up a lot of the fudge and then just put it back and when your victim grabs these they put them on it's late at night you know they don't really care most of the people that are gonna put these on are drunk anyway right <laughs> so they'll put them on and you when they do uh, yeah they, they take them off for whatever reason their face is gonna be covered in chocolate fudge just like that guys simple yet effective prank for those of you who didn't know i'm mexican guys and i grew up with this new year's eve tradition of eating grapes at midnight i can't remember exactly why there were 12 grapes but we would have to eat 12 grapes at midnight so if you guys know why please tell me in the comments below anyway guys as a kid my job was to fill up some cups with 12 grapes and you know i never did this prank but i always thought it would be funny to do it so i have grapes here and we're gonna booby trap a cup of grapes and it's gonna be a really funny prank so let's get to that i already got two in there and i'm gonna put some more and fill it up till i have 11 grapes what yeah 11. yeah traditionally it has to be 12 grapes i think each grape uh means a wish or a goal or or i don't know you guys tell me a nine ten and then right here this is my 11th grape going in there and guess what guys there is gonna be 12 grapes in there but the last grape is gonna be a tomato grape <laughs> um as far as color yeah they're not too similar but it's probably gonna be dark at the party and like i said a lot of people are usually drunk around that time so i'm gonna add this tomato grape inside and then i'm gonna shake it up make sure it's at the bottom what i like about this prank guys is that usually when people eat these they close their eyes they tend to close their eyes and make wishes as they eat these so they'll take one eat it then the second one and the third one so they'll have their eyes closed as they're eating their grapes and when they get to this one it feels like an actual grape it blends in with the other ones so when they take a bite out of this one it's just gonna be funny especially if they don't like tomatoes so if you want to pull a prank on somebody pull a prank on somebody who doesn't like tomatoes so if you're the person in charge of setting up the cups with grapes you can do this prank but do it with clean gloves or i mean if you can see my gloves they're pretty dirty i'm definitely gonna try this prank on my family this year hopefully you guys follow these traditions and maybe you guys can do this prank on your family as i showed you at the beginning of this video these are party poppers these are used very commonly throughout new year's eve and if you saw the demo i did earlier you pull on these and guess what i don't know if you saw that but when you set off that party popper it releases these little thin strips of tissue paper and they're all colorful too so it, it's very nice but they don't make that much of a mess guys and what we want to do is make a mess for that person that sets off the party popper the first thing you guys got to do is you got to remove this little uh, piece of cardboard that's on the bottom it's quite easy guys you just push in and then out as you can see there's little thin strips of tissue paper and they come in all different colors we're gonna have to get rid of those yeah they're not gonna make it to new year's right <laughs> so make sure to empty it out gut it out now once you get every piece of tissue paper off you there's another circular cardboard inside now you're gonna leave that intact because that's what pushes the little strips of tissue out and now we have this little space right here which we can fill up with confetti but we want to make a mess that will be hard to clean up so what i'm choosing to put inside is some glitter and here i have some green glitter for this green party popper so i'm gonna fill it up to capacity and then you're gonna put that circular piece of cardboard inside to keep all that glitter inside so it doesn't come out until your victim sets off that party popper here it is guys this is the booby trapped party popper so when it's midnight guys and everybody's celebrating they're gonna pull on the string of this party popper all that all that glitter is gonna go all over the place and it's really gonna be hard to clean up later on so here's the demonstration of it <laughs> i'm gonna give you guys a closer look 
Look at my counter. This is gonna be hard to clean up. I'm, I'm telling you guys that. I'm gonna be finding glitter all throughout the year. Just like that, guys. It's pretty messy, but it is cleanable. I'm just, I'm just saying it's gonna be harder to clean up. But yeah, your victims can definitely clean this up, but it's just a hassle to do it. So if you guys saw at the beginning of this video, I was wearing this New Year's party hat, which I have right here. This one was only a buck and it's made of plastic. It's very decorative though. It, I mean, it pretty much tells you what it is. It's a New Year's party hat, which a lot of people wear on New Year's Eve. Well guys, I'm gonna show you how to set up a little booby trap on their hat. So for this prank, you're gonna need an extra hat. It has to be exactly the same as the other one. So this one is black, it's made of plastic and it has the same thing on it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cut. We're gonna cut around this part right here and we're gonna cut off the very top of this hat. All right, so I got my blade here and like I said guys, I'm just gonna cut around the hat. Okay, so I completely cut off the top of this hat. Now this part we can dispose of we don't need it no more. Although it still works, so you can put it on. It just doesn't have the roof of it, but it doesn't matter. You can still wear this. But with that out of the way, now we can concentrate on your victim's hat. Now you take this piece and you're gonna put it inside. Like it's gonna be pretty much like a false bottom, but we're not gonna put that in just yet because we're gonna fill this up with a little bit of liquid. So get creative, put whatever you want in there. I'm just gonna use regular water and maybe some Kool-Aid just to make things a bit more interesting. I only filled it up to like about a half an inch. As you can see, there's a little bit of water in there. Now that the hat has water in there, I'm gonna put this other piece of the other hat in there as well. And this is gonna pretty much cover up the water. So I'm gonna lay it flat inside the hat. And it's very snug, so that's, that's perfect. We want it to be snug and you're just gonna let it float in there. If you guys can see from this angle, you can't really tell that something's wrong with this hat. There's nothing wrong with this hat. And the best part, guys, is that like I've been saying throughout this video, whoever puts on this hat, most likely they're already drunk. Their vision isn't all that great. So they'll just grab the hat and put it on and you guys know what's gonna happen, right? Okay, so I got the booby trapped hat right here and let's say I'm semi drunk. Although in reality, I, that would never happen because I don't drink at all. But let's say I was, and you don't really have to be drunk to fall for this prank because like I said, if you look inside, there's nothing fishy about it. There's nothing that gives a prank away. So I'm gonna put the hat on and start celebrating and this is what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna put it on though. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend like I am. So. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. All right, so it got me, but Pretty much guys, when this flips over, all that liquid that's inside is just gonna fall on their head. Literally everything is gonna be on their head. It's gonna start on their head and, and drain down their face and get all over their clothes. So if they're outside, let's say they're in Times Square and this was to happen to them, uh-uh, it's pretty cold out there. <laughs> so what do you guys think? This one was my favorite because a lot of people can fall for this prank. And if you enjoyed any of these pranks that I just showed you guys, please give this video a thumbs up. This is my last video of 2016 and I just had to make this video to show you guys how to pull off some pranks for the new year. Also guys, if you wanna stop by on New Year's Day, which happens to be my birthday, please come and say happy birthday, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for supporting me throughout 2016. Let's look forward to a better 2017. I know everybody's looking forward to that year. Lucky 17, right? Should be a great year. And hopefully I have you guys here supporting me still. I will give you the best video that I can possibly give you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next year. Okay, so the syringe is right here and I'm gonna push just barely and it's gonna squirt. <laughs> oh. See that again. So tell them, hey, why don't you just give it a shake and try to guess what's inside? Of course, they're gonna pick it up and this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stick it in there, get some ketchup like that, guys. And then I'm gonna fill in this bowl with ketchup. All right, well, here goes. <laughs> Look at that. It keeps on going and going and going. <laughs> Definitely gonna ruin somebody's Christmas, right?